This thing's taking drag. There he is. Yeah, that's oh, a good wow. size right there. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I am in Colorado, and uh, I'm out of breath because the altitude up here is insane. But today, we're doing something that I've never done, but I've always wanted to do. We are going ice fishing. Um, my whole family, there's like eight of us that are going. So, there's this big tent. I don't know if we'll be in it or if we're fishing on the outside of it. He's drilling holes on the outside, so I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna, we're walking over here. Gonna uh, get a little rundown of how to ice fish. I'll catch back up with you whenever we start ripping lips. Dad's got the first fish we just got here. Oh yeah, nice. Woohoo! Nice. Wow. nice. Sweet, wow. rainbow trout. Score! <laughs> You just want it anywhere? Just drill a hole? Yeah, that's that's good right there, man. We're gonna try to get down. Can you get you? Ooh. Where else? Uh, man, move over. Like, go back over there. Maybe 10 feet. Try one in shallow. So right there, you're right. You're on the bottom. So we just got the rundown on ice fishing. Uh, we're using these little baby shrimp. Uh, he said that most of these lakes around here have shrimp in them. So that's what we're using for bait with a little jig, dropping it down, fishing about 20 feet, fishing about a foot off the bottom, and uh, put it in the little rod holder, wait for the bite, and uh, catch some trout. So looks like we're eating trout for dinner because my dad just caught one, and we've been here less than five minutes, so. Okay. <laughs> All right, so obviously, Y'all have probably seen ice yeah, fishing before. Right it's like a two right foot rod. Uh, yeah, you, it's, it's not heavy enough. To got this little tiny jig. I don't know what pound test we're using. Not a lot at all. And then we get in here. And I like to stack a bunch of mine. Little baby shrimp. Why do you like to do that? Just so you can see it fall. Just like that. Now we'll take our, one of these little guys. Come over here to a hole. Oh, we need to get this hole cleaned out, actually. You know, it keeps your, it keeps your hands warm. Now we drop this guy down. Drop it down until all the slack goes out in the line. Which means you're on the bottom, and then you want to reel up about a foot. And then we'll set it in our rod holder and be good to go. Now once we get some You can. They'll, they'll leave it like that. Uh, so. Oh. Don't tell me. Oh. Oh, that's a nice All right, I'm getting bit. Ladies. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Got him. Mike, you got one already? Yeah. Oh, you got Mike. Oh, yeah. Set him. Right now. There we go, guys. That is uh, dinner for tonight. So we just let them in the snow. They basically freeze. They don't feel anything. And uh, that's dinner. Eat good. So my dad's hooked up. First fish that's taken drag. He's just playing them easy. You think it's a pike or you think it's a trout? No, this is this is a trout. It is yeah. trout. Pro probably. What's a big trout for out here? 20 inches. Really? We just had a, uh, we just had one of our, there's a big ice fishing tournament out here in, um, one of the guys that I was guiding took sixth, and he got a 21 and an 18. And that took sixth? Out of like 600 people. Wow. So this could be a 18 incher easily? Yeah. Yeah, this, this'll be a big fish. Yeah, he's peeling drag. Take Those reels line. don't have that fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But off the ice here, just get his head up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's, that's a big, big one. Uh, big boy. Heck nice. yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's 16, huh? Yeah, probably 17, maybe. 17? Sweet. It's All right, nice I'm going back in the hole. Beautiful rainbow. Well, let's see, you're putting it on, y'all. Nice. Yeah, just constant steady pressure. You're doing really Mainly good. Really, you got one. Oh, did he pop? Oh, keep he real, came keep off. Real. Oh, no, no he's still just, there. Yeah, just constant steady pressure. Okay. It's a big one. 
Oh. Oh. Keep rolling. Oh no. Oh. Keep rolling. He's still there. Okay. Yep, just constant, constant pressure. Doing really good. Oh, he's right at the bottom of the hole. Be real there patient. He is. Right here. It's a big one. Yeah, this might be the biggest. Dad, oh, Danny, yeah. Danny. Oh, that's a hog right wow, there. Danny. Look at that, Billy. Good job, Billy. Look at that. Oh god, he's slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good really. job. That didn't work out. Ryan, where you at? Man, I have no idea. It's not going good. That's my patience. Not yet. Not yet. Mom's <laughs> up. Here, hold, hold on a sec. I'm going to loosen up your drag just a touch. Okay. It's a big one. There you go. Nice. Woohoo! Nice. Sweet. Yay. Man, you guys have caught some really nice stuff. Yeah. Oh. Danny's oh, hooked oh, up oh, again. Oh, what happened? You're frozen? We just frozen right here. Oh, it got around that. Really? You got another one. But I think I did have there a fish, go. right? Oh, yeah, you, you still have one on. Okay. Just a baby. Oh, baby. That's a little guy. We can let him go, huh? Angels up. First one. That's a nice little size for the first. Yeah, that's not a bad one. It's like pink. This is a male. This is a male? Yeah. How do you know? Or how can you tell? Because the, the coloration and the shape of their head. But you can see, like, see how his head's kind of pointy? Yeah. If you go over to some of the females, they have a real rounded nose. Uh -huh. And the bigger they get, the easier it is to tell. Um, but yeah, that's a male. That's awesome. All right, guys, I'm hooked up. This thing's taking drag. There he is. Oh, come here, buddy. There he is. Yeah, that's oh, a good wow. size right there. Heck yeah. Took long enough to get him out. My hand's frozen, but that's a good eating fish right there. We're gonna go add him to the pile. I think we got 12 so far. And uh, we're taking some fish home with us. Oh man. Uh oh. I owe you a pole. No, nah, you're good, man. How did that break? It's just a sign. I'm gonna throw him on the pile and uh, we're gonna keep fishing. For the hole? Yeah. You see? Judd got him a big one. Yeah. Yeah, Man, he might be the biggest one today. Ryan, you need to catch a fish. Dude, I know. Oh, he's right, right there. Was right there. Was. <laughs> Looks like a nice male. Digging? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a female. That's a really nice one. Let's get her head up. Come on. She does not want to get her head up. There she oh, is. God. Wait. Big old trout. Good job. Heck yeah. Ryan finally got on a fish. I had the worst luck. No, you don't. You just caught a fish. I do. I'm just saying it takes the longest. You know that's small, is he? No. Real. Oh, it's yeah. a real good fish. Yeah. Oh, good. You want me to scoop? Oh, that's yeah, a good, good one. Good job, Ryan. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah! Get you some. 30 minutes. Want oh. a picture? Yeah, yeah drop them back in. Hold it. Alright. Oh, watch out! Mike, this ain't fun, dude. Don't drop back in the I'm not. Ryan was just holding this fish, and we're saving its life and taking its life at the same time. It's got a treble hook coming out of its butthole, so that's a first for me. How often do you see that? Not very often. Yeah. Usually they'll make, they'll, they'll live. I mean, he uh, had it coming out. Yeah, it's he's yeah, got he's line in him. Yeah. 
That's like he's, no good. Yeah, he wasn't gonna live much longer. He, he's a good one to eat. Good one. So, we're wrapping up here. Uh, everybody's still fishing a little longer. But Scott, our guide, if y'all wanna come, if you're in steamboat, skiing with your family, whatever, you wanna come ice fishing, visit uh, Big Ed's Fishing. You can look him up on uh, online. And he also does some other lakes around here too. So he's gonna clean these fish so my hands don't freeze off. And uh, we're taking all these little guys home to uh, put on the Traeger to smoke. And we're gonna eat the big ones tonight. So explain what you do and... Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna do what's called yell and gut, basically. So on a trout, Pretty much all of its all of its guts are connected to this right here. So the first thing you do is you come through right up underneath and you cut out that chunk that connects all their all their gills and guts. And it's just right here. Yep. You go underneath. Then you go right right in the butt. Come on up. You come on up just right to the V right there. Come in the in the hole that we put right there, and you just start pulling. Everything comes out. Everything comes out as once. Now does that all go back into the hole? So well, you know, honestly, I might leave it out for coyote bait. Yeah. Um, and I might be hanging out up over there with my 223 tomorrow. Yep, that'll work. So cut that bloodline. Slit the bloodline and. That thing's ready to go. That is a just a fire red yeah. trout. And that it looks like salmon great. meat almost. Yeah, it does. So what do you think on the grill? Foil, butter, lemon? I like a little rosemary. Rosemary? A little rosemary. We'll do. So that's how you clean a trout from, what lake is this? Stagecoach Reservoir. Stagecoach Reservoir. And uh, we are definitely cooking some trout tonight. I'm definitely going to smoke some when we get back home to Texas. So uh, see if we can catch a few more fish and then... Uh, Head back to the house and cook up some dinner. Well, clean it up with one, two, three, four. Four huge bags of trout and none of it's going to waste. So we had a great time. Like I said, if y'all want to come ice fishing and do what we did today, check them out. His link will be in the description. Um, we had a great time. So we got about a 300 yard walk on this frozen lake and uh, we're headed back to the house. Got one, last fish of the day. <laughs> Got him! How many did you catch today? Two. That's your second one? Yeah. I thought you caught three or four. No, two. I'm yeah. being honest. All right, we are back in the kitchen. It was a great day of fishing. We're gonna do the recipe that Scott told us to do. Um, pretty simple and easy. We have the grill fired up. All we're gonna do is do a light dusting of critter glitter, um, some rosemary, put some butter and lemon in it, and then uh, five minutes on each side on the grill on medium heat, and uh, they'll be done. Judd's gonna fry some, so I'll let you know how those taste too. But we are going to do these on the grill because he said that's the way he cooks his and he catches these fish all the time. So I'm gonna do it the way the professional knows how to do it. Huh? <laughs> well, half of it's gonna fall off whenever we put it on the grill. I, yeah, I put some up in there too. So we'll flip, flip them over, do another light dusting of critter glitter. My theory is that half of it's gonna fall off anyway and it's on the skin which we're not gonna be eating, so might as well put a lot on there and uh, get that flavor soaked in. Take some, well, let's put a little bit on the inside as well. Looks just like salmon uh, on the inside of them. All right, take a lemon and just Get some lemon juice all up in there. Now we'll take some lemon slices, just thin lemon slices, and we'll stuff them inside of the fish. That way that flavor really stays inside the fish. Um, just put them in there like that. We'll also add some rosemary and some butter to that just to get the flavor to stay in there. Take some rosemary. 
So take a few pieces of rosemary, stuff them inside the fish like that. Try to keep everything in there. Take a few more pieces for this side, just like that. And then I'm gonna do, let's do a half a stick of butter in each one. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's gonna melt off anyway, so. Take a half a stick like that, right there. And then put this other half in the other fish. So, I'm gonna take these outside to the grill and uh, I will show you what it looks like when it is done. Like I said, five minutes on each side and then uh, we'll give it a little taste test. We got some whole fried fish over here. Well, we cut them in half, but that's the head side, that's the tail side. Y'all ate this in Belgium? Uh, Austria. Austria. And there's trout. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was good. So, I've had fried trout before. I wasn't crazy about it. I made Angel some bone free fillets and fried them. So, we'll see which one's better fried or grilled. Y'all leave it in the comments. Yeah. Looks good. Yes, all of our family and friends and all those need our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Everybody got a big old plate. One out of ten on the grilled fish. Everybody throw out them numbers. Grilled fish right here. Three. One out of ten. On trout. We had some pretty good trout in Canada, so. Pretty good though. I'll give it a seven. Seven? On the grilled? On the grilled. Yeah, same. I'm gonna give it like a 6.8 versus, I'm only putting it against the stuff that we had in Canada. Uh, I went trout fishing in Canada and we had like a professional chef cook it up and it was like a 10. So it's the only reason why that is that score. Anybody else? I'd say about a 7.8. Now we're gonna go to fried. Fried. Fried is not as good as the grilled. I'm gonna get a fried a 6.2. Yeah. What do y'all think? Oh, good. Mine tastes good. Not bad. I'll stay with a seven. Fried. Seven two, I think they're yep. pretty similar. All right, so that is the trout. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully there's one more video from Colorado. I'm going out tomorrow to try to do it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.